Hey everybody, welcome back to Vampire. So we just leveled up. Uh, we've changed pretty significantly, actually. Uh, we now have this ultimate, which uh, I want to use. Looks like it kind of causes a, this big explosion. Um, not sure how often we get to use this, but we're going to find out relatively soon. We uh, upgraded some of our passives. Weapons are looking pretty good. I actually like our loadout a lot. We, I swap around this weapon from time to time. Um, but... We will, uh, we reload? I'm gonna have this situation where I just shoot into the air again. <laughs> we're heading back to the East End docks, which is kind of cool. Because, uh, we're going back to one of the areas that we started in. Why are those people in the background skipping all over the place? Weird. We know you. Hey, Doc. Oh, it's Clay! It's Clay. Uh, we can cure this guy. Even though he's kind of a nut job. Um... How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? <laughs> I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. Still got that I know its streets, wound, eh? who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. Yeah, I actually believe you. Prepare to die soon. Uh, maybe. We can't escape I want to find out all the things about him. I feel like he's like a red the herring. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the Wet Boot Boys. Ooh, One day I'll leave boys. this city place and punch in the face all who thought <laughs> I would not come back. Looking like a true 12 year old. I like it. He wants to remain the gang leader after his recovery. Murdered the brother of a man who tried to kill him. I really want to find out these. Get more information on him. I really do. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Well, let me hook you up here, pal. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. You know, he's probably not wrong. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? All I know is I ain't letting anyone rip my throat out in my sleep. I found myself a nice play, <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Holy. I'm ready. All right. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Goodbye, sir. Oh, hello. Why am I... Why am I even surprised? They're way stronger, though. So I'm glad that we've, uh... Leveled up. Let's see how it goes. Oh, hello. Whoa, and it, like, freezes them in place, too. But it's on cooldown for like a minute and a half, so it's like that's a big deal. I'm gonna jump in on this guy. Okay. Yeah, that's really powerful. And it looked like while that was happening too, like it our uh, endurance went all the way up. This guy's not have anything. not. Okay, so let's make sure that we're on the right path here. We we'll go through here and then back to the docks. All right. I'm in trigger parts. Those trigger parts are pretty important. I wonder if I can avoid these guys. Let's be very quiet. Oh, 
Come on now. We could probably handle these guys uh, even without having leveled up recently. Fairly basic. Ooh. Trying to lock onto this guy here. You stay there. Come on. Oh boy. These big dudes. Sleep. Really no sense for us to feed. We are getting way more damage now. But if we're full on blood, then there's no purpose. It's kind of, I've built it into like my habit now, you know? One shilling. Oh. Dude's having, <laughs> having a rough career. Screws and grease. Nice. The blood samples. We got something gnarly over here. The nice thing about feasting during combat, though. Is um, is that you get like you're invulnerable, you know? What was that thing that we were hearing over here? Nothing. That's bizarre. Okay, Hampton. I almost dock is stable. Perhaps we should have listened to what the idiot had to say first. Oh, we're hearing this from inside here, I think. Oh, I can talk to him. What Good evening, hell? sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? We throw our name uh, out with like such power. Like, how do you not know who I am? Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys such to take one or two name. of your bones. My name is Just Booth so you remember. Digby. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? Mm-hmm. I do see, yes. So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? I do. Well, Give me yes. the name, at least. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? Ah, the boys work there we me. go. All of them. It is the wet boot boys. So him and Clay are gonna have some issues. Of us, because of me. So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier, I can respect that. Mm. So this is going to cause some strife, obviously. What can you we tell me to? about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. 
People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And Edwina says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. And mostly Incredible. vampires. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My sweet queen of the ducks. <laughs> queen of the ducks. Maybe in love with Edwina Cox. Oh. Oh. Clay Cox, Edwina Cox. But she is the true leader of the gang. What the frick? So, wait, where is Clay? Is, is he technically part of this one? Yeah, okay, so he's part of the Pembroke Hospital area. Some relation to Edwina, obviously. He is in love with Edwina, says he's the leader, but it's Edwina's the true leader. Neat little web of lies we got going on here. And she may be in love with Booth Digby, but she is the true leader of the gang. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Tom Watts, on it. Goodbye. I know Big Tom. Tom is... Uh... Wait, this guy right here. Tom and William Bishop used to be friends. William Bishop... Um, wait, have we not met William Bishop? I will say the one thing that this does great is has this menu for like looking up certain people. I don't think we met Bishop because there's a bunch of people in this area that we haven't met because we were forced out of it pretty quickly early on. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? Ah, here she what is. What do you want? As Ms. I just Cox. told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by Clay. Of I'm course. not here to collect payment, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Maybe, yes. We'll see. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. Mm. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words <laughs> every time. Okay. So, Booth and Edwina Cox have recently killed a man in retaliation. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your oh, guard, yeah, no. you sure Coming some arsehole will take advantage of you. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new... <laughs> Probably not using it to pay whatever. a priest, though. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area oh, and yeah, remind maybe. those bastards what they owe. Yeah, I'd love to. Really? Don't we'll you think this. that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. Was he just a nobody? 
What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway? No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory and this is our law. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Naturally. Boo Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing <laughs> it is. Oh, we just be interrogate to every person that we need. Needs for once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. Behind all your crude words and your attitude, I sense romance and a soft heart, Miss Cox. Romance? I have no time for such rubbish. Oh, yeah, sure. I use booth Party like I friends. use everyone else. It failed. Come on now. So do we have a choice of like? Hmm. What is it? Doc? Behind. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So we can't do the redo those. Fair enough. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint. I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Okay. And what are you selling? Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Okay, so she sells the ammo and, uh, like, gun upgrades, basically. Um... Some of which we know that we need for certain things. I wonder if I should just grab a couple while we're here. I'm gonna buy, uh... Two of these, two of these, and two of these. I think we'll, everything else is fine. Don't need to sell anything to her. Okay, so, we still need to find, oh, I still need to ask her about Sean. Good evening. Hello again. I'm looking for Mr. The sad saint. I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. You don't say. Oh, the homeless. Okay, cool. Goodbye, man. Remember the last thing that she said there. Okay. Turquoise turtle. Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? Cavendish. Uh, we don't really know anything about her. She's in this social circle with, uh, Tom. I'm a tracker of these creatures. Oh god, Ichabod. A vampire <laughs> hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back, and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my <laughs> business. I like it, come on already. He's the kind of prey I hunt, m'lady. Ichabod. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? Yeah, and what do you define everything? as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I need I'm to just a another vampire. lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Yeah, drop your vampire knowledge on me. So, 
How exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. How Here do you go. identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? <laughs> Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. Well, of course. What kind of question is that? Prove it. It's a dirty business, believe me. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on Is that on my in our patrols. best interest? I don't know. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. Alright, so... He believes vampires killed this guy. He's probably never even seen a vampire in his life. He is a vampire hunter, so fine. Just because you call yourself that. Have you heard of the guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for Aren't my you taste, working with these guys? They do let anyone join. <laughs> so you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. Okay. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? His night asylum? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... They have plenty of reasons to hide. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender Everything and leads back to Big character. Tom. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. I could make you tell me, but I respect <laughs> your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest um. of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Okay. Yeah, very interesting that he would end up in this situation if he was molested by a priest. Um... Now, this is this guy just saying it, but it sounds like the way that it's in here is fast, so. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I should have checked his, uh, his health, actually, but the only person here is, um, Dyson Delaney. The only person here that's sick, so. Alright. Tom. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You yeah. remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. <laughs> Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Okay, anything else here? How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Okay. I see. 
So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Oh, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. And with the epidemic, my a supplies are running in this low. Area. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small gin. warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. I don't show me where it is. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. I don't get why we would Here's do that. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. You know, damn right, it's being guarded by something. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Who? Oh. Whoops. What can you? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our oh. own private holy figure. Few sad are foolish saint enough of the to East make End. peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. Everybody respects the guy. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? Well... I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, okay, so he's tell confirming me. Well, this. I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby oh. in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help Shit, everyone. This guy's had a tough one. So those are the only two hints, hey? Aban like bad life, abandoned Catholic orphanage, got molested by a priest. The important thing is I find him. He's like Quickly. the pillar of this area too, so why not try not his night nice candidate for feeding? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. All right. Thanks, man. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Delaney's the drunk, right? We could give him this cure. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? <laughs> Good evening, sir. We met a Whatever. few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. How's your yes, potato and bean? You definitely drunk too much <laughs> then as well. Multiple bean. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. Okay. Um... Dreams when you were younger. Inebriation aside, do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. I gotcha. Take this, then. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake, too. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. Well, maybe they're connected. You ever think about that? Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change, and to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Sounds like you were an idealist, which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist, and I believed that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. So he's an impassioned radical anarchist. Well, that doesn't really surprise me, let's be honest. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. Oh, here we go. Hold on. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. 
I like it a lot. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. He's just like, <laughs> the most depressing guy I've ever met. Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. No reason at all to rejoice. Gotta be something, some key to his past Life that is we don't know yet. and then we die? Is that it? Let me tell you a story. Oh, here we go, maybe. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. Okay. Bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts. Fire. A broken window of the shoe shop. The torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find but a he's place, seen, just like, leave a, a flower for me there. Oh. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Mm. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. He's just trying to like... Why do you drink so much? Maybe that? it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad. <laughs> That's because I am. Dark. I wish the... Uh, I wish these conversations would have more like contextual lines. Like... It's almost like some of the times we'll say stuff that doesn't make sense because of things we've already said to him. Um, but like that happens in almost every conversation. It's don't you weird. work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon. I'll drink at night. Yeah, see? And this Is one... Any how dare you... Oh, here. No. Let me tell you. He already told us. Oh, because this, this is when we could shut him down. Another time, Pat. All right. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could We already know him? where to go. I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me then? About the sad saint. See, and like, that's another thing Charles where we've already gotten this, him. let's say it's a quest done, and we know where our next objective is. This shouldn't even be, like, a thing, you know? Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. All right. Anyways, let's, uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We'll wrap up here, and then we come back, we'll go and find Tom. I didn't expect that we'd be, you know, getting asked for help by literally everybody <laughs> in this area. Uh, what's up here? Is this like a... Oh, interesting. Should I feel bad? Probably. <gasps> oh no. We're going straight to hell, but I mean, obviously. <laughs> So yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, when we return, we'll go and find Sean, I guess. And uh, we'll just keep trucking. I'm, I am, admittedly, and I've mentioned this a couple times, I'm, I'm struggling with the game a little bit. I think it's fine, but it's not amazing. And um, yeah, it's a bit, I just wish there was some more refinement that was done to it. You know, there's a lot of things that kind of take me out of it a bit. And I hate to talk about it you know, at all negatively when I'm actually playing it, but I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts with you guys, and, um, I don't know, I'd like, I'd like to see what happens, but at the same time, I'm not, like, totally invested, because I think there's so many things I need to be doing better, you know, so, I don't know, it's a, t it's, it's a really tough one for me, I, I'm not always this on the fence about games, I'm either, like, I like it, or I'm, like, totally over it, but um, this one's just so right, right in that line in the middle, and it's weird. But I'll take a break here, and uh, when we come back, we will talk to Sean and see what happens with this. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Let me know your thoughts. Whoops, on um, what I just talked about, and we'll continue. I know a lot of you guys, the ones that are commenting, you guys seem to be enjoying it. 
So that's cool. Um, I do appreciate that. But, um, yeah. Maybe, if you guys have played the game, let me know how far into the game we are at this point, and I can maybe make a decision on how far we're going to take this, or if maybe we should not take it any further. But, um, yeah, we'll just see. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. I would appreciate it.